Welcome to the Catholic Charities 2021 Snowball. I'm Chef Chris, this is my kitchen. We will be cooking your home style menu today. So we're reheating things up. I'm just gonna go over the menu real quick with you first. First off, we have our appetizers. We have our uh, chicken pot pie in phyllo. And we have our uh, corn dog nuggets with Colorado Italian sausage. And we have a dipping sauce, which is a sweet chili for those corn dog nuggets. You want to remove that chili sauce so it doesn't go in the oven. Um, next, we have our spinach salad with a warm bacon dressing, uh, candy walnuts, and feta cheese. And then for dinner, we have some roasted smashed potatoes with short ribs and a garlic pale el demi-glaze. We have our roasted chicken with a mushroom and chardonnay sauce. And then we have some vegetables du jour. We have some broccoli with a roasted garlic butter. We have some grilled, uh, balsamic grilled vegetables. And then some brown sugar and balsamic roasted Brussels sprouts. So to get started with this, we're gonna preheat our oven to 350 degrees. I've already taken care of that. Um, we have a guest chef with us. This is Chef Mike. I think everybody knows Chef Mike. If you don't have one in your kitchen, don't worry. We will uh, do it on the stovetop as well. I wouldn't recommend having Chef Mike cook anything for you in the future. You know, he's great at warming things up. He's really not that great at cooking. He overcooks stuff a lot. Um, so to get started, appetizers. We're just going to set those aside for now because those will probably be about the last thing that we want to cook. The first thing that we're going to put in the oven at 350 degrees, and both of these can remain covered, we're going to put our chicken in the oven at 350, and so that has the sauce with it already, and then we're going to put our short ribs in the oven at 350 degrees. That also has the sauce. You want to keep them covered to keep all that moisture in. We will remove the cover from the chicken at about 20 minutes just to uh, brown that chicken just a little bit. Set our timer for 25. Start and then you wait. Welcome back, Snowball 2021 Catholic Charities, Chef Chris. Our short ribs and chicken have been in the oven for about 15 minutes out of the 25. What we're going to do is we're going to pull them both out of there carefully without spilling the sauce. And we're going to uncover them, just give them a little stir just to make sure, yep, that sauce is heating up nicely. Everything should be hot in about 10 minutes. Same with the chicken. Sauce is heating up nicely, chicken's cooking. We're gonna leave the chicken uncovered. Just give it a good stir, make sure everything's stirred around good. And back into the oven. At 350. Short ribs you can leave covered. And now we're gonna go ahead and put our appetizers, our potatoes, and our vegetables all uncovered into the oven with the other things. And so now we've got about 10 minutes left on those. And we move on to the salad. This is our sauce for the Appetizers, pull out a little platter for those. Now for the salad, it's a real simple salad. You got your dressing in here, you got walnuts, a little bit of feta cheese, and then your salad that has some uh, cooked bacon, some crispy bacon, and some onions already on the salad. Take a couple of more salad plates. The dressing. This is where Chef Mike comes in. Just go in there, and we are just gonna go for about 10 seconds. Maybe 20, just to get it warm. We're just gonna carefully place our salad on our two plates here. Make sure to get everything. A little bit of bacon on each one, a little bit of onion on each one. 
done there. Just at 20 seconds. It's nice and warm. You can either drizzle it on the salad or you can serve it on the side. I'm gonna sprinkle some walnuts on there. Sprinkle a little bit of feta on there. Take a spoon, stir it up just a bit, and it's nice and warm. You can see the steam coming off it, and you just want to drizzle it on there. Like I said, you can either do that, or you can get yourself a little vessel and serve it on the side. That is our salad. Now, at about this time, we've got about seven minutes remaining. We can go ahead and put our dinner rolls in the oven as well. And everything will come out at the same time. So when we come back, we will plate our entrees, we'll plate the uh, appetizers, and we will be ready to eat. Welcome back, Snowball 2021. We are at our 25 minutes total time right now, so we are gonna go ahead and get everything out of the oven. Got our dinner rolls vegetables. We have our potatoes, chicken, short ribs. And our appetizers. First thing we want to do is just take our appetizers. Go ahead and set those on the plate. Go ahead and do a little dollop of our dipping sauce there for the corn dogs. And that's all ready to go. Now, to play our entrees, first thing we want to do is we want to check the, temp check the temperature on the chicken. You want to make sure your chicken is good and done. So I have a, I have a digital thermometer here. I turn it on. And what you want to do is I'm going to show you, you want to get right next to the bone. This is pretty hot. It's very hot, so I'm sure it's done. I'm gonna get it right next to the bone and I'm gonna put it in there. Just wait for about 15 to 20 seconds. If you have a dial thermometer, same thing. You just wanna wait till that dial stops moving. If it stops moving before 165 or if this the digital doesn't come up to 165 degrees, you wanna go back in the oven with that for another five to 10 minutes. Just till you want to make sure your chicken is 100% cooked all the way through. If you wanna overcook it, it'll become tough and dry, but you wanna make sure that it's at 165 degrees. And this is showing 172, so we're perfect. So to plate our entrees, I'm going to put some plates out here. And working fairly quickly just to get everything together, I like to just use a spoon or a pair of tongs, whichever one you like, whichever one you prefer. Um, potatoes, these might fall apart a little bit. You've got two potatoes per plate. I'm going to go right in the center. And these are just some smashed red potatoes that have been that are a little bit of butter and then they were just uh, roasted in the oven. For the short ribs, you got about two and a half pieces per plate. And I just like to fan them out on one side, making sure that you do it the same on every plate. If you have five, 10 people, you can have all your stuff laid out, get yourself some helpers, and just uh, put, go ahead and put them all out at one time and get them all done at once. And for your chicken, we're just gonna go ahead and set that right next to the short rib. And then we're gonna put our vegetables on. Got a little bit of broccoli with garlic butter. Get your grilled vegetables. And you've got the roasted Brussels sprouts. So 
like I said earlier, not every not every oven cooks the same. You may need to go in for a few more minutes. You can check the temperatures as you can see everything after 25 minutes is steaming. Our vegetables are nice and hot. Our potatoes were nice and hot. So you want everything to be nice and hot and steaming. And also you want your plates to be a little bit warm. So if you want to stick those in the oven four or five minutes before everything comes out of the oven, that's perfectly fine too. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and we're gonna turn down our oven to 200 degrees. And while everybody's eating dinner, we're gonna have our dessert in the oven just heating up just for a few minutes. So you've got your three different kinds of cobbler. You've got peach, apple, and wild berry. And then you've got some uh, vanilla whipped cream, or bourbon vanilla whipped cream. So these, are just gonna go right in the oven just for a few minutes to get them nice and warm. Um, now, just take your take a spoon, and you've got your nice sauce here. So there's some roasted garlic in there. This is for the short ribs. There's some carrots in there. You just want to go right over the top of those short ribs. Get a couple pieces of garlic on each one, because there will be plenty. Just a couple tablespoons of sauce on there. This is the liquid that it was braised in. And then the same thing with the chicken. We've got all those nice roasted mushrooms in there. And the Chardonnay sauce, get several of those mushrooms, go right onto the plate, and then another nice spoon of sauce. And if you want, you can put the extra sauce in a gravy boat on the side, so if people want more sauce, you'll have, a, you'll have plenty of sauce for everybody to get a little extra. And that's where we're at. And that is your plated entrees. Now you're ready to serve dinner, serve your appetizers first. You can actually, and then your salad, and you can actually take these, and if you're not quite ready to eat yet, your oven's at 200 degrees now, you can actually open the door about halfway, set them in the oven, just make sure your guests know that those plates are gonna be hot, but you can actually set those just right in the oven to keep everything nice and warm. Now for the desserts. also get a little package of some kind of uh, berry sauce that's going to come with your desserts. What you want to do is take a spoonful. This is just a real simple easy and just pull your spoon through it. Grab our warm desserts here. We've got three. We're going to put our Go ahead and put our whipped cream on there first. Nice dollop of whipped cream. One. There's your dessert. So, we're all ready to eat now. Put everything out here so you can see it. Move the camera around a little bit so you can see all the plates. You can see these plates aren't very hot. I mean, they're just a couple minutes. It's 200 degrees, it's not crazy hot. This is our home style dinner for the Snowball 2021. Got your salad, appetizers, chicken pot pie, corn dog nuggets, entrees, roasted chicken with a mushroom chardonnay sauce, pale ale and roasted garlic braised short ribs, vegetables, and your trio of cobblers for dessert. Thank you so much for coming into my home. You guys have a great night and we will see you soon.